We're extremely excited today because we've got Nicola White with us. Round of applause, please. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to try and find some dirty secrets of Scotland. Nicola's just found the edge of the tip. Yes, I have. I'm having crunch. a bottle digging masterclass with Willie, which I'm hugely grateful for. It's only the second time I've ever dug in a bottle dump, like properly dug with a big spade. So thank you very much, Willie, for inviting me here. You're most welcome. This is great. This'll be fun. Here's the crunch, folks. Just found the fresh ash. You know what that means? It's time to get digging. Well, the first thing that I've dug up here is this huge, huge horseshoe. Look at that. That is massive. It looks as if it must have come from a cart horse. So maybe, maybe one of the horses that, that dumped all the rubbish here. That's big, isn't it? It is. It's huge. I'm going to... Bring his luck. Yes, I think it will. What way up does it have to be to bring a slug? Is it that, that way? way? Yeah. yeah. Otherwise all the luck falls out. Oh, okay, great. So um, we'll prop it up over there. That's going to bring a slug. Oh, you struck bottle. <laughs> struck bottle, yeah. Much better than striking gold. But I don't know if the top is intact or not. We'll soon find out. It kind of looks like a, a skittle bottle. It does, bottle doesn't it? Hamilton. Oh. I have a terrible habit of breaking bottles that I find, especially the first one that I find. <laughs> so I think I actually did ding it, but I don't know if that's original or not. It's hard not to though, isn't it, when you're yeah. digging. I reckon that's going to be I in one piece. Are you coming out? Oh. Yay! That's nice. That's so cute. That's we'll lovely. just turn it the other way round, so you don't see the little chip. That's a great first find. First bottle find. Love it. I love the shape. Very good. Yeah. And doesn't it feel satisfying that you actually just dump it <laughs> yeah. yourself? It's hard work digging, but when you find something, it's an amazing feeling. Lovely green inkwell. Oh, that's nice. I haven't even cleaned this yet. Should I do it on camera? Isn't that a beautiful colour? It really it's suits gorgeous. the colours of the all the leaves. Beautiful. It's almost like a tealish green. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. I will clean up really well. I've got a few of these actually in the house. Little drippy lippy as I call them. Can I have a look? Yeah, sure. Oh yeah, it's such a nice colour, isn't it? Yeah. Get out of the way. <laughs> and look what we've got here. Looks like it could be another jam jar actually. Where's my trowel? Right, let's have a look. It does look like it could be another jam jar, doesn't it? Let's loosen it up a bit. Oh, well, here we are. And, yes it is. A smaller one. Little jam jar. I think this is a, some sort of coronation cup or something. I think that's... George V. I think I mangled it a bit digging it up, but it's seen better days anyway. But it's still cool to see the royal faces looking out at you. Excellent. It's my first little pouring ink that I've ever dug. 
Oh, that's nice. So the good thing about not digging very often is that you often get firsts when you are digging. <laughs> that's true, that's true. <laughs> That's a really nice one, isn't it? Yeah, love, love it and love it. love it. Love it and love it. And the, the age-old joke that Willie always does is yeah. that he does love it. We do love it. Um, so yeah, that was quite cool. And then as I was filling in my hole... Oh, nice stopper. Yeah, I mean, it's broken, but it's broken in the right part, so we yeah. can still use it. But I love the pattern on that. It's That's cute. really pretty. Well, I've been rooting around here amongst the roots, and I can see another bottle in there. I think it's going to be another stoneware one. Look, it's just here. Let's see if I can loosen it up with my trowel. Yeah, there it is. I'll come back in a minute when I've uh, loosened it up a bit. Right, so I've loosened it up. Let's see. Let's see what it is. Oh, very nice. Oh, it's a nice, it's a nice ginger beer. Oh, <laughs> we've got a little dance going Whoa. on over here. Woo. <laughs> We're not worthy. <laughs> We're not worthy. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, I am so happy. Oh, that is so lovely. Look. Oh, wow. Wilson, is it Wilson? Wilson. Wilson St Andrews. Oh my Ginger beer. Oh my gosh. That's that... a rare ginger beer. <laughs> That's amazing. No, seriously. Oh my god. The thing is, right, Willie dug, dug this hole though. Come on. No, I started the hole. I'll take credit for starting it. You dug that yourself, 100%. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. And it's in one bit, not a crack at all. That's amazing. So cool. Round of applause. Woo! <laughs> well done. But you know what this means though, Nicola? What? It means oh. you have to do a belter dance. Oh yes, yes I do, don't belter I? Belter dance. Okay. We'll have to film it. Yeah, okay. Shall I get out the hole and do a belter dance? <laughs> I think you yeah. have to. That's an absolute <laughs> belter. St Andrew's ginger beer, beautiful, and it's got like a little impressed little insignia, trademark insignia as well. Very well found, Nicola, on your second only time bottle digging. First time bottle digging in Scotland, everyone. And oh, that, yeah, isn't it great? Start as you mean to go on, right? That's how it's done, folks. That is yeah. how it's done. And in homage to my friend Cy Fines, I'll do a little. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, no, fantastic, <laughs> amazing. Good on you. So that was pretty exciting. As you can see, the bottle is over there, nestled between the roots to keep it safe. And I've just seen a couple of things in here appearing. Looks like something nice of the stoneware variety and a bit of a bottle there. Now it might be a California fig bottle. Let's see if we can um, do a little bit of excavation. Here we are, look at that for a stoneware wow. bottle. And now that's a love it as well, I think. Love it and love it. I love it and love it. We're going to do the old joke. Yeah. We love it. <laughs> we love it, we love it. Amazing. Nice, isn't it? You're on fire. Yeah. You got the golden touch, not just on the Thames. <laughs> well, I'll say it again, I've got to get a great teacher, um, but there is a, a bottle in here as well, which I want to just All right. quickly um, get out. It, it could be one of the, um, maybe one of the Californian ones, and it could also be broken, but let's have a look. Oh no, it's a, oh, it's a little ink, isn't it? Oh, is that a Fields? Ooh, fields ink and gum? Yeah. These are lovely. I do you like something with a bit of embossed writing on it? Yeah, that's lovely. Is it, do, check the, the rim, because very often the rims are damaged because it's a very fine rim. Is it not damaged? No, it's not damaged. That's beautiful. That's lovely. That'll clean up so well. So that is Fields something or other. Fields ink and gum. Yeah. Belter. So you just found that, a ginger beer and that. And what was that, 15 minutes? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going home now. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. 
Yeah, well great. done, amazing. I've never seen one like this before, actually. That's a beautiful one. Yeah. I've never seen one like that either. Oh. Belter, belter after belter. Thank Superb. You. Let's go and see how Sarah's getting on. Lots of digging. No ginger beers down here. No. Come and dig right next to me. I might do. I'm always yeah. really stubborn though, I always want to keep... Yeah, you know, I know what you mean. That could be just around the corner. Yeah. One speed full away. You're doing a great job though. It's, 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 very, it's very um, physical work, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Nothing but respect for people who do this every week, like him. <laughs> I do not do this every week. <laughs> <laughs> Huge crock pot. Ooh, that is, that is a giant one. Yeah. Bit of a belter. Very nice. Very nice. It's cracked though, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. But I'll need to do a little repair on Are that. Are you going to take that and repair I'll it? I'll take it and repair it. Yeah, I've got one just like this actually I found recently. I'll just open that out with the Dremel and then fill it. And happy days. What's that? What is it? Oh, that's a nice bottle. Is that a massive Lysol? Oh, what's it got on there? That looks. It is. Oh, that's, that's a, a huge belter. Lysol. Oh, that's beautiful. That's an absolute belter. It's Trademark. Lysol, is it? Yeah. yeah. I've never seen one that big. But there's no pattern on it. It's just no. plain, apart from the wow. trademark. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Are you sure you want to move? <laughs> I was this close to leaving that down there because I thought it was just a wine bottle held fast by a root. Is hey. that intact? There's no cracks or anything. Wow. Is that the first time you've seen one like that? I've never seen one. We've like never that seen that one this big. Something. Very nice. Does it say on the bottom? Oh yeah. Skula, Skulk, Skulk and May Hamburg. Oh, so it's a, it's that might a be an old one. one. Yeah, it was German originally. I think it got taken over by an American company maybe. So it's an older one. Awesome, that's amazing. <laughs> Believe me, hanging. Well, well done. done. Nice one. Are you doing a dance? Do a oh dance. gosh, I think I'm going to have to do a dance. Aren't I? <laughs> I think you do, I think you have to. <laughs> you don't escape that easily. I think you and Willie have to do a dance now. Alright, I'll get involved. <laughs> Can we do the dirty dancing? Are you ready for me? Oh, dirty dancing! Oh, no! Oh, yes, yes. That is such a good idea. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> and a one. And a two. Oh, yeah, yeah. And a one. This one here is an applied lip. It's Did you call it a drippy lippy? I drippy call lippy. it. It's not the real. It's not the real terminology, folks. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I call it a drippy lippy. But there you go. It's, you can see there where it's just slightly wonky, and that's been applied, which is nice because I thought it may have been machine made, but it's not. This is an absolute belter. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? It's gorgeous. So we've got the, the sort of pyramid, Lysol, and the bottom of it's gorgeous as well, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. We've oh, never seen one good. with the company name on it. No. Look at look at the colour where it goes up as well. It just gets lighter towards the top. Two germs were killing a little time. And one of them said, let's go contaminate a house. Yeah, I know a place that's for me poisonally. So they rounded up the gang, millions of them, and bang, in a kitchen, bathroom, floors, doorknobs, walls, woodwork, rails, pails, babies were everywhere. Until, until, until those germs found out Lysol, the concentrated germ killer, was on the job. Lysol, relentless enemy of germs. To use Lysol, measure two and one half tablespoons in a gallon of cleaning water. 
and death to evil germs. In the bathroom, on floors, walls, woodwork, in the sick room. Women, help protect your home against dangerous germs with Lysol. Keep Lysol on the job every day. It's not quite a ginger beer, but I will take it. I think it's, 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 not, it's not as good as a ginger beer, but it's getting close. It's a really nice find. All right, look Ooh. at that in the sun. Gosh. Wow. Right, so there is the bottom or the base of another stoneware bottle there. So of course, it's that anticipation. What will it be? Will it be another ginger beer bottle? Or will it be a... Uh, an, an, ink, an ink bottle. Oh, do you know what? There's lettering on it. I can see it there. Look. I think it's a ginger, you know. A-N-K at the bottom. Lady Bank. Lady Bank. It's a blob top ginger beer. Oh my gosh. She's just found another <laughs> ginger beer. <laughs> She's you found are, another ginger you, you, beer. You get the award for the best hole digger ever. <laughs> the best bottle digger teacher. Are you ready, everyone? I hope it's all now oh after God, all so this building I. up. Okay. Right. Here we go. Here we go, everyone. See, there's another way Woo! over. Drum roll. Hang on. It's stuck, isn't it? It's quite be quite far. If it's a right, if it's a blob top, it'll be a resistance. This, um, let's get this. So you say Lady Bank, do you say? Yes, Cocodian Lady Bank. Woo! Okay, it's coming out, everyone. It's coming out, coming out of the hole. It's that lovely extraction moment. Are you excited? Oh! <laughs> Like a wizard! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Look at that top as well. Oh, it's a different top. I've is, never seen that isn't top. Isn't that amazing? Do you know the thing is as well? When I came down to Lime Kilns in April, I was finding quite a few R. Douglas bottles, glass right, ones, right. but I have not found a ginger beer. Yeah, that is an absolute belter again. Do we have to do another dance. I think it's dancing shoes time, folks. Shall I do folks? a dance with Sarah this time? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Actually, should we just do it now? Yeah, yeah. Let's right, just do a dance. Yeah. Ready? Are we in the hole? You don't have to get in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> you just said in you get. <laughs> you can come in, Sarah. All right, go on then. Why not? Maybe, maybe some of the magic of the hole will work. Uh, maybe. I think I'm going to start digging here. <laughs> show broken bottles first but this is an absolute belter if it wasn't broken and even though it is I can cut it here and make it into a little drinking glass not much will go in it like but that's what I do with them um, and as you can see here it's the Wilson company I've had these bottles before there's a pictorial of St Andrew on the cross and it's a rarer one it's a Shaw's patent bottle it has these Strengthening ribs on the neck there and the marble inside as well. I don't know if it's still in there. It probably is uh, Actually, maybe not because they might have knocked it out to... Oh, there it was. <laughs> I just went flying So that means that it wasn't purposely broken by a kid back in the day it Used to break the tops off as you probably know out there <laughs> to uh, get to these and uh, that's quite cool then Cod marble and a cut down two in one Oh, I've got a lovely blue poison here Perfect for you, that Sarah. That is beautiful. It's and it's, beautiful. Yeah, and it's all in one piece. Look at me, I'm very happy for, for Nicola right now. <laughs> no, it's got your name on it. <laughs> That's amazing. That's stunning. Hold up to the light. Oh, wow. I can't get it too well from here, but that cool is amazing. Blue. Well done. Is that your first blue poison? No, I have found a few actually on the right. Thames, and that is why I'm absolutely insisting that you have that. I know you didn't find it, so it's not the same, but. It's, it's yours. That is very kind. beautiful. If you're willing to give that to me, I will treasure it. <laughs> Look at that. It's not every day that someone gets a blue poison bottle gifted straight from the hole from Nicola White. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> very generous. How kind. That's lovely. Oh, oh lovely. that's beautiful. Thank you. Gorgeous. Well done. Well, with this one, there's got to be more, right? Well, we're digging a hole here now, so... Let's do this. Oh, yeah. We have, we've moved. 
we're, dig we're digging another hole again. So uh, we're going to move to here and then we're going to both jump you in there. You are on a roll. That's beautiful, wow. isn't it? That's amazing. Amazing. Well done. So Nicholas had a couple of ginger beers, poison ball, lots of lovely finds down there. And Sarah tops it all with a dustbin lid. <laughs> it's a bit rubbish, isn't it? Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> Just looking for Oscar the Grouch now. <laughs> the old shield gag. Mm. Excellent. Nice. This one's an absolute belter, and this one's an absolute belter. And on uh, closer inspection, it says here Meadowcroft patent, which is this style of top, Meadowcroft patent here, and this style of top. This is also a rare bottle, so not only have you found two ginger beers in a day, the first day here, <laughs> you've found two ginger beer bottles that are rare and extremely collectible. And I am just, I'm just going to go home. <laughs> hang up my spade. <laughs> You'll see us laughing in the background. This is so funny. Absolutely unbelievable. They are beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. And as we were saying just now, it's funny to think that the people who drank the ginger beer and threw those away, they just would never have believed how excited no. No. somebody would be. How happy it Standing there with a, a thing in their hand to film it and then, you know, people watching it in other countries. And crazy. Yeah. It's a strange world we live in, but when it's this cool, it's this exciting. Mm. It makes it all worthwhile. Look at that. Super jealous <laughs> and also very happy for you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Cool, well done. So, Sarah has just found this, which is really nice. It's lead, is it? From a little train or something? Mm. Maybe. A little wheel from a child's toy. Really, really nice. Haha, -ha, the puns. Yeah, you're part of Team DSOS now. Oh, the puns. <laughs> oh, it's a bottle. A wheel in that. Oh, and you've got a bottle. It's a live show, folks. Oh. <laughs> it's like a nice colour. Like I nice think it'll be a Judge brand. Oh. Yes, it is. So What's that? Judge, Judge brand Gateshead. It'll oh, be polish. Is it hat nice. Polish? Hat polish. Hat yeah. polish? Hat polish. Oh my gosh, I've never ever heard of hat polish before. Judge brand. Yes. They had well. the earlier ones were Newcastle, is that right? Yeah. And then the later ones were Gateshead across the river. Oh, that's lovely. So I like finding the Newcastle ones because that's where I'm from. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. As you can obviously tell by my amazing Geordie accent. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds it's a, a lovely things. accent. I love that accent. That's nice. Very nice. Oh, it's a beautiful colour, that one. Hat polish. No yeah. people polish their hats. We haven't quite figured out what kind of hat <laughs> that you need to polish. <laughs> But there's a lot of those bottles, so clearly they were doing a lot of hat polishing. Clearly. I've no idea why they say it rains a lot in Scotland. What utter, utter nonsense. Never does as usual. Oh, I think it's going to start pouring with rain. But we've got a canopy of trees above us, so that'll protect me for a little while. Now there are a few nice bottles here scattered around. I've just seen this one, which I really like. I've not heard of these guys before. It's True Fit and Hill Limited, Old Bond Street. I really like that. I'm going to take that because I can look them up, see what they used to do. Probably some kind of old pharmacy. Oh, it's starting to rain. We've been so lucky. Now, how's this for organised bottle digging in all weathers? Look at it. Isn't it great? Bottle digging camp. It's got a Scotland. You've got our umbrella, Ella, Ella. <laughs> that is that is very good. I'm very impressed. Jump underneath there. Yeah. Get, get I think I better get my coat on. Yeah, go on. Get Ooh. I love the sound under there as well. When the rain hits the, the canopy. Let's carry on. Did I see rain in there? Um, Am I losing? I, know, I think you made that up. I made yeah. it up. Okay. We can put it in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's one I don't think I've seen. It's a pictorial. That's a lovely. It what, says what is there on there? something. 
Okay, see, I haven't got my reading specs on. I was looking at that. Oh. This is one I've never seen. Is that the Taj Mahal? Is it Elgin? Have a look. It looks like I've wiped on, on it the camera. It looks like yet. Elgin. Elgin. Oh, okay. Elgin's a place in Sorry. Scotland. Yeah. <laughs> Elgin. Something. Hay and Sons. Hay and Sons. Elgin. Hay and Sons. Very nice. Cool. It does look a bit Taj Mahal like. It looks like the Taj Mahal. There's no Taj Mahal in Elgin. There is not a Taj Mahal in Elgin. Maybe it's from the, 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 the um, takeaway. Could be. Takeaway. Could be. <laughs> Yeah, it's Elgin, um, Hay and Sons. Oh, that's really nice. Uh, have a cathedral? I've never seen one of these before. It's a machine made though, so it's lovely. Early machine made. Still very cool though. I love it. Very cool. That's a new one for me as well. Well done. Sarah's got something here. She just made a loud noise, so I came over to see what it was. It's just an ink got. bottle, right? It's just, just an yeah, ink bottle. It's an ink bottle. Oh. Oh, you've got to do that on camera. What have we got? What have we got? Furniture, Furniture cream. cream. That's amazing. I've always oh wanted to find gosh. one of them. A printed one. I've never seen a printed one. Oh um, my gosh. I know. Well, you know what that is? That's an absolute belter. It is. You know what that means, don't you? Got to get my dancing shoes on. Let's see it. Oh my God. <laughs> Go on then. Oh, I'm still going on. Yeah. Okay. That's so cool. I can't believe this. The amount of these bottles that we have found. And we do love them. Hundreds. So many. I just thought it was, oh, you know, it's another plain ink. I'll put it in the pile. Boom. The Knock Furniture Cream. Never even heard of it. It's from Basket is Scottish as well. That is an absolute belter. The girls are cleaning up today. <laughs> well Sorry. done, dear. Well, that's super impressive. I you have it. helped us both, so. A little bit, a little bit. Doesn't matter though. You did it yourself that bit. That's amazing. Excellent. The knock. The knock. I love it. That's a belter. Super. Well done. The knock furniture cream. What does it say underneath there? The Bathgate. Bathgate, yes, Bath that's in Edinburgh. Bathgate. Isn't it? Near Edinburgh. Near yeah. Edinburgh. Polish and Chemical Company. That's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? It's so cool. I always thought Willie was making it up when he said that you find these sometimes with print on them. Yeah, they're very I didn't common. think it was real. I've never, I've never even seen one, not even on bottle digging, like pages and stuff. So I've never seen. That one. is a, that is a magic hole, isn't it? It is. This Absolutely. is the magic place to dig. Crazy. That's beautiful. If I, even if I didn't have furniture, I'd buy that furniture cream <laughs> just to have the bottle. <laughs> it puts the packaging we have today to shame, doesn't it? It does. It does. Oh, that's really lovely. Congratulations. And yes, I did do belter dance, but you did miss that. Oh, really? I missed the belter dance. First, first solo belter solo dance. Belter. I, I didn't I think you were going to do it. I haven't done a solo belter dance before. No, 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 I didn't think you were going to do it, but she did it. Well done. <laughs> Worth it for that. But also the, the dustpan lid. If you want to get out of Nicholas Blooming Hole that yes, she's been okay. digging now. I'm just digging it out for you. Now that you've, that you've stolen her find. <laughs> oh, no, no. I think that that is the communal hole. I think it pretty much is. <laughs> Everyone's had a go in there. <laughs> We're talking about this just sounds wrong. We'll, we'll cut that back. <laughs> okay. Have we got something there? We have got so I haven't got it out yet, so I don't know if it's any good, but it's, it's here. And it's got writing on it. I can't quite read it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, you know what? <laughs> it got me again. You've done this before. <laughs> it's, a, <laughs> it's a Sherwoods. Oh, but it's really nice though. It's a nice Sherwoods. It's a giant Sherwoods. It's a giant Sherwoods, so that's what it is. Sherwood sauce, you see it's a drippy lippy. Yep. And a nice messy lip. It's a lovely colour actually. I'll probably clean up really well that. That's nice. Yeah, I thought it was going to be, I don't know, like a big blob top or something. But no, it's still a cool find. No, it's still nice. Go happy with that. We need to um, dig a little tunnel from this hole to that <laughs> hole. And then crawl through. Yeah. Yeah, like the escape. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> there's that hole, there's this hole. And yeah, the Sherwood bottle. We've decided, all of us, that we're going to try and find one more item each, one ace item each. One belter. One belter. 
and then when we do, we're going to call time because we are tired. We are. What's that word you said earlier? You were puggled. Puggled. Oh, puggled. Scottish word. Puggled. Okay, yeah, I like that word. Tired, yeah. Doesn't I'm sound the same when we say it. No, no. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling a bit puggled now. <laughs> you have to keep saying it though. Anyway, it doesn't yeah. matter. Where are you from? You okay. Got a good one. Yeah, we're all a bit puggled. Yep. We're a bit puggled. So, so um, the race is on to get the last yeah. belt in for And look at that great big heap of mud as well. Yeah. That we've got to and put the back ones in the that hole. have all been filled in as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're persistent. Great, let's do it then. Good luck, everybody. Good luck to you. Let's do this. Right, back in the hole I go. Got something blue here. Don't know if it's hole. But we're about to find out. I've got a feeling it But it's in a hole. It is in a hole. I think it's a milk of magnesia. Ooh. Yeah, it's a milk of magnesia. It's nice though, isn't it? It is nice. There you are. That's a beautiful example of a milk lovely. of magnesia bottle. Ooh. Screw top. You get nicer ones that don't have a screw top. Mm. We've had a cork, we've had a cork in them, but still it's nice. It's lovely, and they're quite shallow as well, these bottles that you're pulling out here. Some of they? them are, yeah. Some of them are. It just depends where they are. Yeah. The... Right, so you've actually yeah, found one. something. Well, I found something, but I wouldn't say that's, that's an absolute okay, belter. Okay, it's not a belter. <laughs> but it's, uh, I'd say I'd give it a four. Okay, four if out of ten. If it was a cork top rather than a screw top, it would be about a six or a seven. Okay. Sarah's found a pipe. I had to, really. Actually, you should have found it. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, actually. I just thought I did find one, but it was a stone. Is that's that a nice Deceptive. one. Yeah, so, so that's like oh, a... Some, isn't there someone on that side? <gasps> oh, no! Oh, it was cracked anyway. It was cracked down the side. Oh, you'll, no, be able stick, you'll be able to stick that back together. Yeah, you can stick it back together. Plain. You can see all the bins, bins inside. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, they gosh, used it, yes. definitely. It's like an early 1900s one. Oh, it had a big cool. crack around it. Still cool, though. It's yeah. not a crack pipe, though. <laughs> <laughs> A cracked a pipe. Between a cracked pipe and a cracked pipe. <laughs> yes. Okay, Sarah, have you found your belter? I don't know. We're going to have to decide. But it is skittle bottle, flat bottomed, happen flat. I can't say that. Flat bottomed Hamilton. <laughs> flat Anything bottomed Hamilton. <laughs> <laughs> Struggling today with the words. Um, and it does have a pictorial on it, which I think is one we've seen before. It's quite faint it says trademark yeah and there's this sort of dalek looking thing which i think is a distiller i think we found that out last time okay that's very so I nice i think it's an aerated water bottle oh, oh oh i do oh, yeah so what have you got there packham packham is that a glasgow brand i want to say i thought it was a spring watch presenter <laughs> yes yeah exactly that's what i thought <laughs> packham that's cool packham. That's lovely. Nice big toy. That is lovely. That's really nice. That's gorgeous. I yeah. love the colour as well. It's so you've, beautiful. yeah, that's a beautiful colour. So you've Does that mean I get your... to sit out for the rest of the day? Yeah, that's right. You get to sit there and <laughs> eat sweets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she has no problem doing that. Yeah, I'd be doing that anyway. <laughs> that's nice. Another belter chunky, for Sarah. A chunky bottom on that bottle, which I quite like. Yeah, well done. Well done. Well done. Awesome. Nice little corner you've got there, actually. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Some nice stuff coming out. Come on, guys. Right, I know, Step I know. <laughs> it's well and truly stuck. I can twist it, I just can't pull it out. <sighs> we might be here some time, guys. You can this has better be worth the effort. Oh, oh I did it. She's got it. Oh, wow. Ooh. What's that? I don't think I've seen one of those. That's nice. The pictorial. St Andrews. There is a pictorial. It is a hand holding, well, it kind of looks like a TV aerial, but I'm going to go on a limb and say that's not what it it's is. It's an arrow. It's ah, a, an, it's arrow. A, it's an arrow, look. What does Ooh. the word say at the top? I can't see that. That's nice. Sutty. Sutty. Well, that's S a name I've not heard. S. Sutty. That's a drippy lippy as well, right? It's got age. Oh, nice. So that's it's a lovely find. Sutty, drippy lippy. Yep. And um, St. Andrew's with a hand holding an arrow. Cool. Yep. Rylands and Barn Barnsley. Barnsley. That's our company Lovely. based in have a look. Barnsley that makes the bottle. That's very nice. Well, you've done really well. So actually, you've now found two um, belters. belters. Someone's got to do the dual work. I know, I know. I know, I know. <laughs> I'm Isn't that nice? Isn't that yeah. lovely? Very good find. Well oh. done, Sarah. Well done. 
Well, we're nearly done because we are all puggled. We've reached the hole. We are puggled. <laughs> yeah, and look, we have <laughs> reached the middle there. So we've, we've now got one, one big hole. I think I'm done as well. I, yeah. I, I was hoping to find one more thing, but I don't think I've got the energy. Yeah, no, well, I've luckily Sarah found there. three belters for us. Yes. So one Can each. Applause, yeah. Well done. Well done, well done. <laughs> well, let's not forget the belters yes, of the day, though. I think you definitely outdid me. <sighs> you yeah. outdid everybody. Gosh, we've been so fortunate, haven't we? Yeah. Absolutely. Wow. And Good. so now what happens? Willie, mm. do we well, we well, fill in all the holes now, don't we? Yeah, we take away the rubbish, back get in rid there. of it in a responsible way. Yep. And we fill the holes back in, level it, rake them all so they look really nice and clean, and there's no broken glass on the surface. We love to leave it actually better than it was when we arrived. Yeah, that's yeah. great. So it's Before a real, a real case of responsible bottle digging. I like to think so. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, as with all the rest of the holes that we've dug today. The two main holes are all filled in. Well, we're lining up our favourite finds of the day and we've done so well. <laughs> oh, look at that, a little poison between two gingers. <laughs> so Sarah, please can you show me your favourite finds of the day? So I think, I think we all know which is my favourite find, which is my beautiful little furniture cream. That is brilliant. Deceptive, it? because it was in the hole like that. That must have been such a nice surprise when you pulled yes, that out. Yes, was, there was an audible gasp. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favourite. And then this was really cool. This was the first kind of belter find that I got out, which is a gigantic Lysol. So it's embossed with the Lysol company name, but no pattern, which is slightly different to the other ones that we found. But I'm sure that will go in our poison shelf very nicely. Yep. And then at the end, I found this really beautiful drippy lippy bottle which is that is sooty. super isn't it St Andrews I love the hand there with the arrow yep. holding an arrow not a TV aerial <laughs> <laughs> so yeah those are my three favorites congratulations beautiful finds yeah. what about you Willie okay I've got this which is a bottle I've never seen before which I'm pleased with and it's quite iridescent as well I'm not sure if that'll come off when I clean it. And I think that looks like the Taj Mahal on there. That really does, actually. Hay and Sons, trademark, Elgin, registered Elgin, which is in Scotland. And a big crock pot, slightly damaged, but we don't worry about that on Dirty Secrets of Scotland. We just fix it and give it a new life, a hundred years later. <laughs> um, and then there's this lovely big poison bottle as well with ribs. That's nice. I'm really pleased with that. And then a aloe beer bottle, dumpy size. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, it's got a wooden stopper as well. Oh, it's, it's lignum mushy. vitae, isn't it? I think that they made those stoppers out of. Oh, is it? Yeah, ah, okay. I think so. It's sort of wood. It is a kind yeah. of wood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the one you mean. That's cool. So that may be what that is then. And this, which is a local Adamson Leaven mineral water bottle. I didn't find the stopper, but it must have been in that hole somewhere. I've got plenty at home though, so it's okay. Oh. That's that's what I found today. That's amazing. Well, I'm just quickly gonna show you my favourite finds, just, just gloss over which these is ones. this. Well, my favourite find is of course <laughs> this bottle stopper. No, just <laughs> joking. <laughs> these beautiful ginger beer bottles, which uh, are absolutely stunning, and I feel very blessed to have found those. So thank you very much for digging that hole. <laughs> <laughs> well, they are really lovely, and this one here, which is a real beauty. I picked this one up. Which I like because I can look up True Fit and Hill Limited from Old Bond Street. And also this little ink here, ink and gum. And this beautiful little blue poison. So I have done extremely, extremely well. So thank you very much indeed for bringing me. I think you've had a good time, haven't you? Oh, it was absolutely great. It was so lovely to meet you both and I had a fantastic time and I feel like I've had an amazing workout as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's hard going, it's hard <laughs> It's the dancing and the digging. <laughs> yeah, the dancing's the hardest part. <laughs> the dirty dancing. Dirty dancing, yeah. there you go, coined the it here digging. first. Look yeah. at my hands and I was wearing gloves. <laughs> yeah, we
Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope that wherever you are in the world, that you're in good health, you're happy, and that you're not too puggled. Puggled being one of my new favourite words since I learnt it that day, bottle digging with Willie and Sarah. And I have to admit that watching that video back again just now and seeing all that energetic belter dancing, um, I feel puggled all over again. But uh, bottle digging aerobics, I think, could really catch on. Certainly the combination of digging and dancing and then the thrill of finding wonderful treasures. It's certainly some of the best cardiovascular exercise that I had in a very long time. So it's worth thinking about it. Bottle digging aerobics, maybe, maybe a new kind of activity that could really take off. So thank you again to Willie and Sarah for giving me the opportunity to dig up some beautiful pieces of Scotland's history in the form of these bottles, especially. Here is the Wilson's and Andrews ginger beer bottle and the R. Douglas ginger beer bottle. And these make a beautiful addition to my ginger beer collection and they definitely stand out as the the prizes of that collection so aren't i lucky i love these bottles i'm very very lucky and between us we did really find some to coin willie's phrase excellent belters so thank you willie and sarah so I'd love to point you in the direction of Willie and Sarah's channel so that you can go and follow more of their adventures. They recently set up a new channel about three or four months ago and it's really taken off because since we had our bottle digging adventure, they have moved from their suburban home in Fife to the remote and beautiful Isle of Skye, which is an island in Scotland. So do head over to their channel, which is called Living the Sky Life, to follow their adventures as they settle into their new tiny cottage and discover all the amazing, beautiful wildlife and scenery around them and how they face the challenges in, in living in such an environment. Because although it's extremely beautiful, there must be challenges as well. You could also watch their previous bottle digging adventures on Willie's channel which is Dirty Secrets of Scotland which is just such a brilliant name Dirty Secrets of Scotland and Sarah also has a channel which she occasionally posts to as well called She Walks She Paints. Um, Sarah is a fantastic artist and she spoke to me a little bit about her artwork We love getting out and exploring beautiful places in Scotland and I'm always taking photos of little things that I find and so yeah I come back to my studio and I, I turn them into watercolour paintings. Oh gosh so these are all your paintings? Yes! They're absolutely beautiful aren't they? They really are. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you do them from photographs? I do them from photographs yeah. yes. Obviously you can do things from, from life as well but I'm quite of the opinion that you, you go somewhere and you, you leave on your footprints and you take on your photographs so I don't want to yeah. take the flowers and the, the seeds and things away and those are my bottle paintings so they yeah. are really <laughs> they are so beautiful they're so realistic as Thank well you. they are so realistic they're, they're a challenge glass is, is very challenging lots of reflections lots of light but it's also very satisfying and do you sell prints of these i do indeed yes i'd sell them on my etsy store so i have a she walks she paints etsy store which is all linked on my Instagram and right. YouTube. I'll put the links really nice. up. Which is great because it just helps us, well, it helps me keep going and do, yeah. doing things that I love and, and sharing it with everyone. I love, I love sharing these places in Scotland that I visit 
with everyone around the world so maybe they haven't got the chance to come to Scotland and see the things that we we love so much so yeah that's that's my little my little gallery I would like to give Nicola a print of oh my poison my bottle oh thank you so much that's possibly one of the favorite things I've painted a poison bottle for a poison bottle because you gave me your find so you can thank take that print you. away that is so special well, I'm actually going to frame that that is so special I hope you've signed it I have indeed yes signed and dated I love that. So here is my beautiful print, which Sarah gave to me um, from the original, which she painted. So don't forget that if you want to snap up some of Sarah's prints and some of her artwork, then go take a look at her Etsy site, which is She Walks, She Paints. And I believe that Willie might also have a few cut down bottles and things on his Etsy site so you might want to take a look at that too so so many things to to um, take a look at and it's always amazing to meet so many talented interesting people so I feel very 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 fortunate so thank you again for watching everybody and thank you so much for your comments I really enjoy reading them and I try to respond to as many as I can thank you too to everybody who has donated via my Kofi site or my super thanks. I really, really appreciate you all so very much. They do not go unnoticed, so thank you. So I'm really looking forward to seeing you again for some more adventures, searching for history, and in the meantime, take care and look after yourselves, and I'm sending lots of love from London. Bye-bye. Well, I haven't seen Squirrel for a few days, but I just saw a little face popping up. Hello? Hello? It's you! Where have you been? Off gallivanting, because it's spring. Are you hoping for a nut? Oh, go on then. How could I refuse? Come on then. Come on. Let's give you a little nut. You are, go take it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it's funny actually, I think that that is not my usual, not my regular squirrel. I think that might be her child. What do you call a baby squirrel? Well, like a teenage squirrel really in squirrel years, but I think it's her teenager who has, up here looking for food but I don't know where mum is. <laughs> <laughs>